The Ultimate Windows sponsored Billingham Stars welcomed Laidla Conference side Witness Wild to the forum on Saturday night in Cup Action. The Wild, led by player coach Scott McKenzie, were looking for an upset against a Billingham side missing player coach Michael Bowman and captain Paul Windridge. The Stars did however welcome back leading scorer Dennis Bostrom after he returned from a Christmas trip to Sweden. It didn't take Bostrom long to get back into the swing, hitting the bar on his first shift before Ben Davison saw his point shot saved by Benstead in the witness goal. Soon after this the Stars did break the deadlock, Callum Davies stripping Kemp of the puck before deeping around Benstead and potting into the open net. The Wild did have their own chances in the early goings. Mackenzie attempting the wraparound before Watson in the Billingham goal was able to cover up. There was a worrying moment for Stars fans with Scott Ward staying down after getting tangled up with Kemp. Ward was briefly looked at by the Stars physio before leaving the game with an apparent lower body injury, further adding to the growing injured list that the Stars currently face. At the 3.40 mark, the Stars were handed their only power play opportunity of the night when Wigglesworth held on to Davies for a bit too long. Unfortunately, the home side were unable to make it count. With seven minutes played, the Wild were given their only man advantage of the game. Stars' demon turned forward, Matthew Campbell getting a stick caught up in the skates of Mackenzie. Unlike their hosts, the Wild made it count. After cycling the puck, Scott McKenzie potted his own rebound after Watson was unable to hold his initial shot. The score, 1-1 with 7.34 play. On the next shift, McKenzie fired a shot high over Watson's net. Michael Elder then chipped the puck forwards for an onrushing Chris Sykes, who slowed up before sniping it at the top corner over the netminder's blocker. The Stars didn't hold their lead for long, Wild's Slovak forward Mikel Fico chasing the puck down before stuffing it past Watson's left pad to tie the game at 12 minutes 30. Again though, the Stars responded almost instantly, import Dennis Bostrom with a quick shot off a Moss face-off win to make it 3-2. Billingham extended their advantage to 4-2 in the 17th minute. James Moss picked the puck up in his own zone before executing a lovely give and go with Andy Munro, getting a solid stick on the return pass to send the puck into the back of the net. The first period scoring wasn't done there. An alley-oop by McKenzie wasn't dealt with by Finn and Christopher Preston roofed a slap shot by a stunned Mark Watson. Fico attempted to tie the game before the first period ended, but this time Watson prevented the stuff attempt. The Stars bench was worried once again late in the first period as centre Callum Davies was sent hard into the end boards by Jackson. Davies left the ice looking in some discomfort. After a high scoring first period, both coaches were surely looking for a tighter second. However, with a little over a minute gone, the Stars cycled the puck before Moss spotted a gap in the defence and rounded Benstead for his second goal of the night. After a shaky first period, Watson grew into the game, saving a Wigglesworth shot from close range before diving on the loose puck. Watson was again called upon shortly after. The Stars failed to clear the zone and he had to use all of his goalie stick to prevent Strangeway's slap shot from finding the top corner of his net. The home side were three up by the end of the second period. After some sloppy play from both sides, the puck eventually found its way to Chris Sykes. Sykes crossed the blue line and fired an unstoppable shot over the glove of the netminder for a 6-3 lead at 39-29. The third and final period started much the same way as the first two. Jack Emerson fired a shot just wide before Luke Brown got his stick in the right place to redirect Munro's shot past a committed Benstead to give the Stars a four goal cushion. The Stars piled on the pressure. First Andy Munro showed great speed down the wing but his pass was just in front of Billy Nicholson. Munro then circled back but saw his shot saved by Benstead. Michael Elder was unlucky not to add his name to the score sheet after his shot was saved onto the post 
before being cleared off the line by a witness defenseman. There was just time for Will Robson to see his shot deflected just wide before the close of play. A 7-3 victory then for the Stars over the Widnes Wild. This was followed up by a 6-4 win away at Solihull on Sunday night in the league. On to the Man of the Match presentations and the Widnes Award went to Big D-Man Tom Jackson. And the Stars Man of the Match with a two goal night went to Chris Sykes. The Stars return to action next weekend with a double header first an away game against the Sutton Sting on Saturday, followed by a return to the Forum against the Sheffield Senators for a 6.30 face-off on Sunday evening.